are you doing? I hope you are doing great. Happy Monday night. I am recording this pretty late on a Monday night. Um, I hope you guys have had a great day, had a great weekend. Um, uh, as you know, um, again, welcome to Facts and Two Cents. Um, as you know, we're a channel that supports the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry, Megan, Archie, Baby Lily, Mama Doria, Pula Guy, the Chickens, Mama Mia, all of us here at Sussex Squad. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, oh, <laughs> it's been one of those days. It's one of those days where you're like, I hate Mondays. And this reminded me why I hated Mondays. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever recorded something and spent, uh, you know, at least an hour and a half recording something. And then you realize at the end, you forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> this is the second time it has happened to me. Well, it happened to me today. And at the end of it, I just wanted to go and bury my head under a pillow and just cry. <laughs> So this is a hybrid version of um, what I was supposed to record today and didn't record because I didn't hit the record button. And so, <laughs> um, anyways, you know, all's well. I'm alive. You're alive. You know, it happens. But, um, you know, Wonderful things are happening. Um, our faves are doing their thing, you know. Today, we got to see a little bit of our fave that, and photos that we haven't seen before because, um, and it's so wild that I, I, you know, kind of was supposed to record and didn't record because when I, as soon as I was done, um, I went on Twitter and saw this and I was like, oh, Oh, more things we can add to our podcast. So our fave, um, as we know, uh, invested in Clever Brand, the latte company. And, you know, I tried latte for the first time in my entire life um, doing the matcha one, which is the green package one. But um, they did kind of like an update or an impact report um, video on Instagram. And so um, this was posted today and it's just so wonderful because it's all about um you know how they started four years ago and they kind of really didn't have any money for budget um for marketing and stuff like that and then megan came and checked it out and she loved the product and then she became the first investor so um the video really was about um about you know their beginning and then megan came on board and how from that it just blew up and you can see the first photo where it says Megan ended up becoming our first investor and not only did she become a first investor I'm just gonna move myself away from there. There we go. Um, not only did she become of the, their first investor, she's an advisor and the biggest clever advocate. So as you can see the bottom photo there and she and part of the clever team. And not only did she do that, we all remember when she um, told her friends about it and sent over a, ba a basket for um, to Oprah. And then of course you see Oprah um, doing the golden uh, latte there that's when we first heard about it and uh it their business just literally blew up they have um you know completed a couple of million of orders of um clever brand car, you know uh latte now they're doing um I guess they're putting it into stores and all of that stuff. So they are doing amazing. And that just came, you know, the brand was there in the sense that they had, you know, they know what they were doing and how to how they wanted to make their lattes. And so it was really doing good. But it was when Megan came on board as the first um, investor and obviously with her massive platform, she just blew it out of the water. And so they are doing fantastic. And this is a little bit of a blurb that they wrote on Instagram. It says, in four years, Clever has evolved in ways we never could have dreamt of. Grateful is a vast understatement. Here's a BTS look into how we spend from 
how we went from two passionate people hand blending lattes until 2 a.m. into a brand with an epic team, vibrant community, and support from one of the world's most incredible female luminaries, Megan. Thank you for being with us every step of the way. And again, Megan is definitely part of the team. She's an advisor. She's an advocate. And, you know, their um, product is ethically sourced. So, you know, Megan is all up into that. And so, um, again, for me, it's the first time I was trying latte. I'd never tried before. I'm not into coffee products. And so they have a vegan one that... Um, and a one that uh, that has no cafe uh, no caffeine and so that's the matcha one so that's the one i tried i actually i had tried the golden as well but that's not my favorite one the, the, definitely the matcha it just puts you in such a calm mood and so yeah so fantastic but it's so great to see megan i don't know when um the video was shot i don't know when these photos were um you know at least when they did it may have been recent may have been not but um it's just great to see megan it's great to see her out and about and with one of her investments and um so yeah it was just it was just like a big surprise it was like oh <laughs> you know she's looking all happy and everything so you know it's just wonderful it's wonderful to see because i know it's so much of the say the press or like oh she's just there to work hollywood and she was fame and all of that stuff and megan is like no i'm more into investing i'm more into business i'm more into growing companies you know and so it is just fantastic absolutely fantastic to see um also moving on prince harry as we remember tomorrow night Prince Harry will be on Stephen Colbert, and um, this is a pre-recorded uh, part of the interview that he, um, you know, part of it was last month when he went into the interview to promote Spare. And so this part of the question Q&A uh, part that they didn't air, and so that's going to be airing tomorrow night, so I'm going to be watching it. You know, I'm assuming you're going to be watching it as well. Um, again, I had not watched Colbert um, until I saw the episode with Harry. And I had never watched it before. <laughs> And I haven't watched it since. So I'm, you know, and I don't know the kind of questions that he asks. So we'll get to see it tomorrow. So very excited. So mark your calendars. Make sure that you are, your television set is all ready to go uh, tomorrow night. So, and apart from that, the NAACP Image Award um, happened uh, over the weekend. And this is last year. We know last year we saw Harry and Meghan there receiving the President's Award. And also, um, they created an award with the NAACP. And so it is, um, you know, absolutely amazing uh, just the, the kind of work that they have been able to do in the short time, <laughs> the short time that they, you know, that they are there. And it's just like, you know, they create, and it's not, you know, again, it's not the first award that they have, um, you know, that they have created and so it is just it's really a fantastic and this is um and uh yeah this is the um the digital civil rights award that they've created with um the NAACP and so we we know obviously last year um Dr. Safia Noble that's her in the right uh she received the award and obviously that's her book the algorithm of oppression so they are really focusing in on people who are making an impact in the tech world and really advocating for civil rights and so obviously Dr. Dr. Noble got it um, last year. And so this year, I was just, we were just like, well, I haven't seen Megan in a while. So she's going to be a part of this one. And I wasn't sure at the time if the NAACP were even going to do something and um, in person or they were just going to do, um, you know, 
as they did last year. They taped it without an audience. I wasn't sure what's going to happen. So, but this, I, um, or they were just going to do it virtual. And so this year they did some virtual awards and they did some in-person awards. And so this year, all of a sudden we were like, Ari and Megan, it was just like, oh, wait, where's Megan? <laughs> Megan was nowhere there. It was all Harry. Harry is the one that presented the award this year. And here he is with Derek Johnson, who is the, pre the president of the NAACP at the top there. And they presented to Nabia, Sa uh, Nabia Syed. Uh, and so she, um, she posted about this, I guess, on her um, Instagram. And she said, still stunned uh, to receive the NAACP hashtag actual Dig digital civil rights award. And she's like, question mark, like, did I just receive this award? You know, I'm sort of move my banner at the bottom there. There we go. And, um, and at the bottom, she wrote most random, awesome Zoom call of my life. So I'm assuming she was probably on there with Derek Johnson and then Prince Harry pops up. And I could just imagine the shock. <laughs> and so she is happy and excited and stunned and just, um, you know, blown away all at the same time. And a little bit about Nabiha. She's the CEO of a company called Markup. Uh, I had never heard of Markup before. And it's like, always I get to learn so many things from Harry and Meghan because they are able to come up with these things and these companies and uh, organizations that I never heard of. And so this is one of them. Um, so Na Nahiba, I'm sorry, Nabiha um, Syed is the chief executive officer of Markup. Uh, the over the she oversees the Markup strategy, business plan, and business communication, personal and other operational matters. And a little bit about Markup. It says Markup is a non for profit newsroom that investigates how powerful institutions are using technology to change our society. We are a new kind of media organization staffed with an an unparalleled roster of quantitative journalists uh, who pursue meaningful data-driven investigation. Our approach is scientific. We build databases from scratch, bulletproof our reporting and show our work. We call this the markup, the markup method. As a not-for-profit newsroom, our journalism exists to serve the public. And that's why we have embraced a show your work philosophy. Whenever possible, we will publish the underlying database and code and we that we use in our investigation, as well as detailed methodology describing the data into provenance and the statistical technique used in our analysis. We invite academics, journalists, policymakers, consumers, uh, activists, and community organizers to engage with our findings. After all, this is for you. So um, that's where she works. They're doing great work there. Um, and Archwell put out a statement. Actually, it's pretty lengthy. This is a little, little clip of it. I am going to post the um, the entirety um, of Archwell's statement and the NAACP statement about the award, the Digital Civil Rights Award. And um, this is a little bit about what Archwell said. It says, we have, when we founded this award with the NAACP, we wanted to highlight and uplift people across the country who are transforming the digital world for the best. Nabiha Syed is doing just that, harnessing her own expertise to push for safer, more inclusive online communities, uh, said Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Nabiha and her team are uh, shedding light on some of the most critical issues of our time, and in doing so, empowering all of us to reclaim some of our basic freedoms, truth, safety, and choice. She is an inspiration to us and so many, and we are proud to support her incredible, impo incredibly important work. And so, yeah, so she's doing a lot of great work. Um, and some of the work she's doing is um, 
is really looking into just the Im, um, imbalance and or um, in wh whether it's mortgage lending um, or how s some social media platforms pry into our lives and get information like our medical information and all of that stuff. Um, so they are doing, um, they're really doing incredible work. And they're also looking into, they also, I guess, released a report about how telecom companies um, slow down the internet in like inner city areas and but speed it up in like the richer community. And so all of that stuff they are doing. So it's really, really, really good work. So congratulations, uh, Navi and her team. Uh, so again, I had never heard about them. So definitely check out the check out the map the markup. I'm going to put the link in the show notes so you can get to know more about her and her team at the markup. So, anyways, moving on. Oh <laughs> well, this was very funny. Um, if you've read Spare, I'm sure you've come across the section where Prince Harry and one of those random crazy things. <laughs> um, was in California and was staying at Courtney Cox's house for two or three days. And you're like, well, how did that happen? And part of that stay was, uh, I guess, a little party get together. And there was some uh, special chocolate in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out to be apparently shrooms. And so um, Courtney Cox was doing, you know, she had not said anything about it. And so she did an uh, interview with Variety where they pretty much asked her about it. And so this is a little bit about what she said about, you know, Prince Harry and his shroom experience at her house. And Variety says, Courtney Cox reflects on friends, her career, and yes, Prince Harry doing mushrooms at her house. Well, I definitely wasn't passing them out, says Courtney Cox. <laughs> And so it goes on to say there was another bestseller that she was mentioned in. Um, the first one was um, the, her co-star who played Chandler, who wrote a memoir. And so she obviously was in there. And so they're saying the other bestseller that she uh, was mentioned in that made even more headlines was um, Prince Harry's spare. In the memoir, he recalled once spontaneously partying at Courtney Cox's house and finding a box of black diamond mushroom chocolates in her, refrig in her fridge. Uh, so Courtney, um, responding to it, she says, he did stay here for a couple of days, probably two or three. He's, he's a really nice person, she said with a laugh. She also recently saw him at a birthday party and wanted to say hi, but kept to herself since he was talking to other people. Uh, and so she says, I haven't read the book. I don't, I do want to hear it because I heard it's really entertaining. But yes, it, it has gotten back to me about it. I am saying, I'm not saying there were mushrooms. I definitely wasn't passing them out. So anyway, so yes. She, Courtney is like, uh, oh no, we're talking about mushrooms in my refrigerator. So anyway, so there may or may not have been some mushrooms. I, oh, Harry said there was, and he kind of <laughs> went crazy with the mushrooms. So, um, but she talked about uh, seeing a, him at a birthday party recently. So I'm assuming the birthday party was Ellen's birthday, Ellen and Portia's birthday party thing. So it could be, I mean, there could be other birthday parties as well, but um, I, you know, just thinking, I, I honestly don't know if she's a friend of, of Ellen's, but I'm assuming um, that that was probably the party that um, you know, they were together, but she didn't get a chance to talk to him because he was talking to other people. And so, and it's Hollywood, I'm sure they'll run cross paths again. So, uh, and she actually today got a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So congratulations to her, uh, Courtney Cox. She seems like a really nice person. So kudos to her and, uh, you know, so, but it's just very interesting. Um, just, <laughs> she's like, I heard it's really good. Very entertaining. So, you know, hopefully we'll hear more about it as she reads. And talking about Spare, um, obviously coming up um, on Saturday the 4th, um, which is this coming Saturday, we'll get to see uh, see and hear from Prince Harry as he joins Dr. Gabor Mate. Um, they'll be doing a live conversation with every um, with everyone who signed up. Um, 
whenever you register. Part of that registration is that you get a book, uh, get a hard copy of Spare. I think Dr. Gabor also has a book. You're also, you know, you can also purchase his book. Um, you know, and so it is great to see um, Penguin Random House and all the other bookstores and booksellers are out promoting this. So um, obviously uh, the topic is going to be trauma, illness and healing in a toxic culture, i.e. now, you know, so. Um, and a very important, uh, you can also submit questions. And so in order to get your questions in and get, you know, put it up there that where it may be answered, you must submit, you must register by March 1st. So March 1st is the deadline for, for where you can register to have a question, to submit a question to see if your question would be asked as part of the conversation. So again, March 1st, if you want to submit a question. And again, it's just great to see, you know, the bookstores um, advertising it. So it's going to be great. Um, you know, this is Waterstones in the UK. So they are advertising it. Dr. Gabor Mate is also in, in um, uh, advertising it. So it's just really great. And Randa, um, the booksellers also, they wrote up a little blurb about it, you know, um, Penguin Random House has revealed that it is a uh, that it will live stream an intimate conversation with Prince Harry and the physician author Dr. Gabo Mate on Saturday the fourth. Uh, the prince will join Mate, the author of Myth of Normal, to discuss living with loss and the importance of personal healing. Following the conversation, there'll be an audience Q and A with uh, with. Prince Harry, and Mate. The global event would be produced by Random House in partnership with Barnes & Noble's Waterstone, Indigo Books & Music. As the exclusive book selling partners, we also feature, uh, will also feature introduction by Barnes & Noble Waterstone CEO, James Daunt. The conversation will take place on Saturday the 4th at 5 p.m. GMT, um, uh, or UK time and uh, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific time and uh, 12 noon uh, Eastern time. So each ticket includes a hard copy of Prince Harry's landmark memoir spare. So and so all ticket information you can just jump on Prince Harry's me Prince Harry memoir uh, website and you can be able to purchase your ticket there. So, and talk about his website. Um, I love the website. Um, they've they, um, updated it with, you know, number one New York Times bestseller, you know, and I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. And of course, that's the little blurb there. They also included some praise, um, unflinching, introspective, and well-written the time, um, at Time Magazine, I guess, uh, compelling, artful, a blockbuster memoir from the New Yorker and a scorching account of his life in a golden cage from the Atlantic. And they could have put in so many other reviews because they were all amazing, but they chose those three. So kudos to them. And what else? Obviously, and Spare is number one. Spare is number one. Um, audio, of course, we know it's number one. Kindle, it's also number one. Hard, by, um, hard copy. So it's just number one everywhere. <laughs> it's just number one. So there you go. Spare is doing amazing. And talk about Spare, this wonderful book club. And I was like, I want to be a part of your book club. This wonderful book club got together. I think they're in Kenya. And they got together. And of course, as we can see on the table, the books that's there is Spare. They got their Spare and they are discussing. So I'm telling you, all these book clubs that are popping up over this book is just amazing. And, you know, our book club as well. Thank you guys so much for joining us on Saturday, even though we weren't quite talking about I spare a lot of the principles they apply and um uh, so thank you all for joining us on Saturday um, for our book club. But I was just like, I want to be part of this one. This one looks really amazing. And of course, their uh, breakfast as well. So um, yeah, it's just, it's really fantastic. I just, I absolutely love it. So moving away from that um, <laughs> positivity, um, talk about <laughs> karma, 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 karma. 
come as having a great time with the ancestors as they go around to those people who have pretty much um, decided they were going to make life hell for Harry and Meghan. And so Karma is having a field day with them. And this is one of those um, horrendous ones who Eamon Holmes, uh, he was at a Manchester, uh, Manchester United game. He should have turned up in a wheelchair. Apparently he's having a lot of health issues. Um, but this is the same Eamon Holmes that, you know, last year with the Jubilee, he wanted Harry and Meghan be thrown off the balcony and no press, um, you know, regulation, anything, you know, came down on him. No consequences at all. And obviously when he called Meghan uppity, um, you know, he told Huffington Post that, you know, he, you know, I guess they may have put him through some sensitivity training and he's like, you know, I, you know, his thing is like, he hasn't learned anything, you know, and it's funny because um, after this event, he was on this like radio show talking about how much he hated Megan and all of that stuff. And, you know, you have all this negative energy in you. Of course, your body's going to break down. Of course, there's nothing positive is coming out of you. So, Needless to say, and that's his son pushing him there. Um, needless to say, Eamon Holmes is, has gotten a visit from the ancestors. So that's all I'm going to say on that. And Eamon Holmes has his mess. And I think, you know, the funny thing is, is this totally not coincidence anymore. It's like before we could say it's coincidence, but no, this is not coincidence. All of these people who have attacked the Sussexes, attacked Medigan especially, they are all coming going down because the Lord is taking care of them. Karma's taking care of them. The ancestors is doing it. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing to watch um, each of them go down. Um, and anyways, moving on, Invictus Games. Um, Invictus, as we remember last year, them welcoming the Ukraine team. And so they just wanted to honor, I think uh, a couple of weeks ago was the anniversary of the Russian invasion in Ukraine. And so a lot of places just wanted to honor the men and women, um, you know, for from the Ukraine team, just their bravery. And some of them, as we know, coming off the... Um, Coming off the front lines, they just literally came off the front lines, were given permission by uh, Zelensky, President Zelensky, to go to the games, and they did amazing. So um, Invictus Games uh, said, as we pause for a moment of silence to, rec to recognize the anniversary of the war in Ukraine, we wanted to com commemorate the brave members of Team Ukraine who joined us at the Invictus Games in The Hague 2020 last year. And the bottom says, we look forward to welcoming Ukraine with open arms to the Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023. Later, this year on September 9th. And so, yeah, um, so of course we see Harry up there, one of the uh, Ukraine team members. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's it's sad. It's just, it's horrendous what they're going through, but it's, you know, you look at the triumphant faces um, of the team. It just, it's, it's really, really, really inspiring. It's one of those inspiring things that you'll remember for a while. So anyways, moving on. Ah, global citizens. You know, I love Harry and Meghan and how they, you know, again, we've talked about that, how they build community. And it is just so wonderful to see um, the different communities love tweeting each other and, it, you know, spreading the word for each other. So global citizens um, is, uh, they tweeted out about uh, archetypes, Megan's archetypes teaming up with Ving and um, says archetypes and Ving are giving away $1 million to uh, in $1,000 grants to women in need. Spread the word on social media for young people to nominate an amazing woman in their communities. And so young people from 14 to 18 are able to nominate someone in the community, a woman who is just down on her luck and needs some, uh, a little bit of financial help. And um, they've I've also seen where they have helped uh, single dads as well. So uh, so yeah, if you have a teen that's between 14 and 18 and like to sign up and recommend someone in need, 
definitely, 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 um, you know, recommend this. And I'll, again, I'll put the link in the show notes so that way you can see it. But um, a little bit about it, it says the problem, we're helping um, spark a national movement for young for the young generation of givers. And um, who can help? The Archetype and Ving Project is ready to give $1 million away to 1,000 grant uh, in 1000 grants to women in need and what can we do you can we can spread the word on social media for young people to get nominating amazing women in their communities and um so yeah it just you know it says this holiday or oh, this january this uh february and march uh um help spark the national movement of young givers and spread the word about an incredible project helping women in need the Archwell foundation and ving are selling are calling on all eight, 14 to 18 year old gen zers to make a difference in someone's life to by giving away a uh, one million dollars uh one th in one thousand dollar grants to women in need through the project the teens have an opportunity to give their common their community uh who would I'm sorry, to the do their projects, teens have an opportunity to give women in their community who have been uh who would benefit from who could benefit from uh financial aid and an encouraging boost. So let's make this um February and March extra special for amazing women all over the world the united states um uh all over the i'm sorry uh, let's make this i guess uh, february and march extra special for uh for amazing women all around the united states and help spread the word about uh the price and tweet now so yeah definitely help spread the word again the link would be in the show notes if you have a 14 to 18 year old or you they know of other 14 to 18 year olds definitely have them um you know check out the link and see what they need to do in order to submit a worthy person for some help and finally, I uh, saw this today and I realized like this was Harry and Meghan's final um, or one of their final events at Buckingham Palace, the day that they, the, their final day as ro uh, working royals. Um, and then obviously, you know, they went to the um, Commonwealth Games and then Meghan had to jet out of there and get back to the US, I'm sorry, to Canada to be with Archie. And so I had never seen these pictures before. I was just like, oh. Um, I've seen other pictures with other part of the group that they were with, but I've never seen this. So it was just really, really wonderful. So thank you, Sussex Princess, for posting them because, again, I never saw them in my life. So it is just really, really wonderful to see. And again, someone draw a photo of her and Harry. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Uh, so, yeah. So thank you, Sussex Princess. And, uh, you know, because, you know, Megan was... Um, sort of conflicted because she's leaving and then also you know it's just yeah it was just a difficult time <laughs> but um just the smile on her face is just like oh you know she's able to put how she was feeling you know the disappointments that she was feeling um she so she was a lot you know able to just park it and then really be there for the group and their family so uh, yeah, it's just really, really wonderful to see you. So again, thank you, Sussex Princess, for posting this because I never saw it before. So it was wonderful to see that. So anyway, I think that's it. That, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you to our wonderful moderators, uh, Lydia Church, Nelly, Karen M, Cookies and Cream, uh, for always monitoring our space and really keeping it nice and safe and special just for us. Um, I'm going to put back our little banner there. Um, thank you guys so much um, to our wonderful Two Cents crew who support the channel on a monthly basis. Again, you don't have to do this. Um, if, you know, guys do it out of the kindness of your heart. And I really, really, really appreciate all the support that you have been given to this channel. And um, 
it's more of our two cents crew and our golden gold star supporters who support during the um, you know and donate during the chat uh, whether it's a super thanks super stickers super chat um or just straight donation and where they um support via paypal and cash app thank you guys so much for your help again you don't have to do any of this you do it out of the kindness of your heart and i really 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 appreciate it and appreciate every single one of you and all of that you do so um but thank you guys and uh, if you haven't already if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe uh to and uh click the notification bell so you know when we drop a video please like the video and share because we're trying to build our channel we're over 6100 and so we're trying to get it uh up to 10,000 by the end of summer so help us get there and if you're able join the two cents group um that would be fantastic as well so um anyways that's it guys thank you so much for hanging out with me as i re record this for well i didn't record it before so i can't say re-record it because i didn't record it but you know the when i tried to do it earlier today so um you know you know, it is what it is. But anyways, guys, um, I will see you next time. Have a great day. Uh, have a great evening or whenever I post this, I might be in the morning. Uh, have a great morning. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye. Love you all.